it doesn't matter what major you are or where you're from or anything everybody listens to music so it's very easy to get into it but i didn't really start thinking about producing necessarily like making my own stuff until my sophomore year summer i had a friend that showed me one of their songs and i was like oh that's cool like i can't even imagine how you like make those sounds and i just watched like a few videos on on like youtube of like oh like how to make this sound or you know how to do that and i was like oh that's cool and then i started really getting into like edm music and i was like oh man they're making some crazy stuff like i don't even know half of what's going on in this song what even is that it's not an instrument that i'm familiar with the creativity that you can get from you know listening to your favorite song and listening for those small details and and trying to replicate them in your own music is really fun and, and you know really rewarding me and drew ellis go, who goes by Drell, started like a music production club here which the goal isn't anything crazy it's literally just to connect people who do music at the very beginning of the year we were hosting zoom tutorial sessions so you know, to get people on board with like, how do I use an EQ? How do I compress? What is saturation? What is distortion? Me and my like other producer friends, like we'll hop on a Zoom call and like work on some stuff together. So it still feels like I'm part of like a community, which is really nice. Everything I do, I, I was self-taught. Like I, I uh, just watched YouTube videos. I took one class at UNC, uh, beat making lab, which was really cool. I mean, it wasn't, it was like very introductory. So like super accessible to everybody. It's like, what is a baseline? How, do you, how can you make drums? But you know, super helpful for those basics. I think at this point, I've probably made close to like 50 songs, 60 songs at this point, fully made songs. And I'm probably happy with about eight of them. As you grow over time, it becomes a lot easier. Now I can, you know, pump out these remixes in two hours, two, three hours. And they, I think they sound pretty good. So this is a, a remix. This is one of the ones I took a little longer on. A lot of my creative inspiration is finding a really cool low-key artist or like hearing a song that does something really cool, really different. And then like creating something in a similar style, but you know, that's like my style. Yeah, ever since we were in quarantine, I think like I was probably putting close to like nine hours a day. Honestly, it's kind of a blessing um, in disguise to have that time to really work on this because I don't think I would have otherwise. You know, it kind of helped me, um, you know, help my emotional health while being in quarantine and stuff like that. You know, it made missing people and not being around people a lot easier to deal with when you're like really passionate and really excited about, you know, the stuff you're making. 